Hey guys, welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. This video we've got the Spider Farmer SE5000 suitable for a 4x4. It's in the sort of high performance and yet budget range of the Spider Farmer lights. That is, it's got um, high end LEDs, good performance, but it's also the self assembly type. Um, so it comes packaged very efficiently and um, there's no real bells and whistles with this uh, fixture, um, but overall, nice quality unit. When assembling the LED bars onto the frame here, you can see that the LED bars are not evenly spaced. And this means you get better distribution of the light to the edges than you would otherwise. You also have a uneven distribution of the LEDs on each bar. So again, you've got this um, increase in density in the LEDs towards the end, which improves the overall spread. The LEDs themselves, the white ones, are Samsung LM301Bs. They're a mixture of cool white and warm white. You've also got deep blues, uh, deep reds, 660 nanometers, and some far red LEDs. You can see here, did the spectrum analysis with the Asensitec uh, spectra radiometer. And you can see that uh, there is a healthy mix of blue, green, and red, um, giving you a full spectrum light output overall, totally suitable from growing all the way from seed to harvest. The LEDs are also protected. You've got a coating over the LEDs to protect them from um, The Spider Farmer driver is mounted on the back here and has the usual Spider Farmer controls. We've got this little control box here, which has an onboard dimmer for adjusting um, the power from zero up to, well, about 10% up to 100%. And you also have this switch here, which will switch the uh, dimming control to an external signal. So you can use an external controller or daisy chain multiple uh, units together and control them simultaneously. So to test the unit, I dropped it into a 4x4 or 1.2 by 1.2 meter test area and dropped it down to its minimum recommended hanging height, which is 10 inches or 25 centimeters over the target test area. I then took 64 power measurements across the target area with the spot on quantum sensor and was able to get the average power. And so the Power consumed was 489 watts. The average power was 780 micromoles. And dividing the total power output onto the target area by the power consumed gives you the system efficiency. That's 2.3 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt, which is very good system efficiency for a light at this price point. For a 500 watt light, it's priced normally at $599. I was checking, on earlier, checking earlier on on their website and I can see it's dropped by nearly 20% at the moment to $509. And you can also get added benefits by using the Migro code, which is in the description below. Overall, this is a fairly basic fixture. Um, you know, you got to assemble it itself um, and it's, it's not the best looking light, let's face it. However, it's got really high performance, got good quality LEDs. It's got your added LEDs to build out or fill out that spectrum with the deep blues and the 660 nanometer reds and the far reds. And uh, yeah, it delivers a really nice spread with that, um, that uh, format of having the bars unevenly distributed and the same with the LEDs. So I'm happy to recommend it on that basis and be very interested to hear what you think about this fixture. And please leave your comments below and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.